smart weapon redirects here. For the weapon systems customized to a single person, see Personalized Gun. A precision guided munition is a guided munition intended to precisely hit a specific target, and to minimize collateral damage. Because the damage effects of explosive weapons decrease with distance due to an inverse cube law, even modest improvements in accuracy enable a target to be attacked with fewer or smaller bombs. Thus, even if some guided bombs miss, fewer air crews are put at risk and the harm to civilians and the amount of collateral damage may be reduced. The advent of precision guided munitions resulted in the renaming of older bombs unguided bombs, dumb bombs, or iron bombs. Types Recognizing the difficulty of hitting moving ships during the Spanish Civil War, the Germans were first to develop steerable munitions, using radio control or wire guidance. The U.S. tested TV-guided, semi-active radar-guided, and infrared-guided weapons. Equals radio-controlled weapons equals. The Germans were first to introduce PGMs in combat, with the 1,400 kg MCLOS Guidance Reds X Armored Gravity Ordnance to successfully attack the Italian battleship Roma in 1943 and sink a hospital ship at Enzio, and the similarly MCLOS-guided Henschel HS-293 rocket-boosted glide missile. The closest Allied equivalents were the 1,000-pound VB-1AZON, used in both Europe and a CBI theater, and the U.S. Navy's BAT, primarily used in the Pacific theater of World War II Euro the Navy's BAT had its own on board autonomous radar seeker system to direct it to a target. In addition, the U.S. tested the rocket-propelled gargoyle, which never entered service. Japanese PGMSA Euro with the exception of the anti-ship air-launched, rocket-powered, human-piloted Oka suicide flying bomber Euro did not see combat in World War II. Prior to the war, the British experimented with radio-controlled remotely guided planes laden with explosive, such as larynx. The United States Army Air Forces used similar techniques with Operation Aphrodite, but had few successes. The German Mistel Parasite aircraft was no more effective, guided by the human pilot flying the single-engine fighter mounted above the unmanned, explosive-laden twin-engined flying bomb below it, released in the Mistel's attack dive from the fighter. The U.S. programs restarted in the Korean War. In the 1960s, the electro-optical bomb was reintroduced. They were equipped with television cameras and flare sights, by which the bomb would be steered until the flare superimposed the target. The camera bombs transmitted a bomb's eye view of the target back to a controlling aircraft. An operator in this aircraft then transmitted control signals to steerable fins fitted to the bomb. Such weapons were used increasingly by the USAF in the last few years of the Vietnam War because the political climate was increasingly intolerant of civilian casualties, and because it was possible to strike difficult targets effectively with a single mission. The Than Ho Bridge, for instance, was attacked repeatedly with iron bombs, to no effect, only to be dropped in one mission with PGMs. Although not as popular as the newer JDAM and JSOW weapons, or even the older laser-guided bomb systems, weapons like the AGM-62 wall ITV guided bomb are still being used, in conjunction with the AAW-144 data link pod, on U.S. Navy F-A-18 Hornets. Equals infrared guided electro-optical weapons equals. In World War II, the U.S. National Defense Research Committee developed the VB-6 Felix, which used infrared to home on ships. While it entered production in 1945, it was never employed operationally. Precision guidance has been applied to weapons other than conventional bomb warheads. The Raytheon Maverick heavy anti-tank missile has among its various marks guidance systems such as electro-optical, imaging infrared, and laser homing. The first two, by guiding themselves based on the visual or IR scene of the target, are fire and forget in that the pilot can release the weapon and it will guide itself to the target without further input, which allows the delivery aircraft to maneuver to escape return fire. The Pakistani Nescom H2 Mupsaw and H4 Mupsaw as an electro-optical is a drop and forget precision guided glide bomb. 
The Israeli Elbit offer is also an IR imaging drop and forget guided bomb that has been reported to be considerably cheaper than laser homing bombs and can be used by any aircraft, not requiring specialized wiring for a laser designator or for another aircraft to illuminate the target. During NATO's air campaign in 1999 in Kosovo the new Italian AFAMX employed the offer. Equals laser guided weapons equals. In 1962. The U.S. Army began research into laser guidance systems and by 1967 the USAF had conducted a competitive evaluation leading to full development of the world's first laser-guided bomb, the Bolt 117, in 1968. All such bombs work in much the same way, relying on the target being illuminated, or painted, by a laser target designator on the ground or on an aircraft. They have the significant disadvantage of not being usable in poor weather where the target illumination cannot be seen, or where it is not possible to get a target designator near the target. The laser designator sends its beam in a coded series of pulses so the bomb cannot be confused by an ordinary laser, and also so multiple designators can operate in reasonable proximity. Laser-guided weapons did not become commonplace until the advent of the microchip. They made their practical debut in Vietnam, where on May 13, 1972 they were used in the second successful attack on the Than Ho Bridge. This structure had previously been the target of 800 American sorties and was partially destroyed in each of two successful attacks, the other being on April 27, 1972 using walleyes. That first mission also had laser-guided weapons, but bad weather prevented their use. They were used though not on a large scale, by the British forces during the 1982 Falklands War. The first large-scale use of smart weapons came in 1991 during Operation Desert Storm when they were used by coalition forces against Iraq. Even so, most of the airdropped ordnance used in that war was dumb, although the percentages are biased by the large use of various cluster bombs. Laser-guided weapons were used in large numbers during the 1999 Kosovo War but their effectiveness was often reduced by the poor weather conditions prevalent in the southern Balkans. There are two basic families of laser-guided bombs in American service, the Paveway 2 and the Paveway 3. The Paveway 3 guidance system is more aerodynamically efficient and so has a longer range, however it is more expensive. Paveway 2 500-pound LGBs are a cheaper lightweight PGM suitable for use against vehicles and other small targets, while a Paveway 3 2,000-pound penetrator is a more expensive weapon suitable for use against high-value targets. GBU-12s were used to great effect in the first Gulf War, dropped from F-111F aircraft to destroy Iraqi armored vehicles in a process referred to as tank plinking. Equals radar equals. The Lockheed Martin Hellfire II lightweight anti-tank weapon in one mark uses the radar on the Boeing AH-64D Apache longboat to provide fire and forget guidance for that weapon. Equals satellite guided weapons equals. Lessons learned during the first Gulf War showed the value of precision munitions, yet they also highlighted the difficulties in employing Thema Euro specifically when visibility of the ground or target from the air was degraded. The problem of poor visibility does not affect satellite-guided weapons such as joint direct attack munition and joint standoff weapon, which make use of the United States GPS system for guidance. This weapon can be employed in all weather conditions, without any need for ground support. Because it is possible to jam GPS, the guidance package reverts to inertial navigation in the event of GPS signal loss. Inertial navigation is significantly less accurate. The JDAM achieves a published circular error probable of 13M under GPS guidance, but typically only 30M under inertial guidance. The precision of these weapons is dependent both on the precision of the measurement system used for location determination and the precision in setting the coordinates of the target. The latter critically depends on intelligence information, not all of which is accurate. According to a CIA report, the accidental United States bombing of the Chinese embassy in Belgrade during Operation Allied Force by NATO aircraft was attributed to faulty target information. However, if the targeting information is accurate, satellite-guided weapons are significantly more likely to achieve a successful strike in any given weather conditions than any other type of precision-guided munition.
equals advanced guidance concepts equals responding to after action reports from pilots who employed laser or satellite guided weapons Boeing developed a laser JDAM to provide both types of guidance in a single kit based on the existing joint direct attack munition configurations a laser guidance package is added to a GPS INS guided weapon to increase its overall accuracy Raytheon has developed the enhanced paveway family which adds GPS INS guidance to their paveway family of laser guidance packages. These hybrid laser and GPS guided weapons permit the carriage of fewer weapons types, while retaining mission flexibility, because these weapons can be employed equally against moving and fixed targets, or targets of opportunity. For instance, a typical weapons load on an F-16 flying in the Iraq war included a single 2,000-pound JDAM and two 1,000-pound LGBs. With LJDAM, and the new small-diameter bomb, these same aircraft can carry more bombs if necessary, and have the option of satellite or laser guidance for each weapon release. Equals Cannon Launched Guided Projectiles Equals A cannon launched guided projectile, a precursor to modern PGMs, is fired from artillery, ships cannon, or armored vehicles. Several agencies and organizations sponsored the CLGP programs. The United States Navy sponsored the Deadeye program, a laser-guided shell for its 5 inches guns and a program to mate a paveway guidance system to an 8 shell for the 8-55 caliber Mark 71 gun in the 1970s. Other Navy efforts include the BTRM, ERGM and LRLAP shells. The U.S. Army's MGM-51 Schiller missile can be considered a type of CLGP. Intended for use on the M551 Sheridan light tank, the Schiller missile was fired out of the Sheridan's cannon to provide robust anti-tank capability. The Army's M712 Copperhead laser-guided artillery round was used in Desert Storm. Army CLGPs include the M982 Excalibur 155mm artillery shell, the XM395 Precision Guided Mortar Munition, and the XM1156 Precision Guidance Kit to refit existing 155mm shells with precision guidance, as the Air Force's JDAM program converts dumb bombs into precision munitions. Equals Guided Small Arms Equals Precision guided small arms prototypes have been developed which use a laser designator to guide an electronically actuated bullet to a target. Another system in development uses a laser rangefinder to trigger an explosive small arms shell in proximity to a target. The U.S. Army plans to use such devices in the future. See also AASM, cruise missile, circular error probable, cannon launched guided projectile. GB4 GB8, GBU15, GBU28, GBU39 Small Diameter Bomb, GBU57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, BARQ, H4 Mupsar, H2 Mupsar, Hope HOSBO, Joint Direct Attack Munition, M712 Copperhead, McDonnell LBD Gargoyle, MGM51 Schiller, Missile Guidance, Point Target, Range Extension Kit, RK. By Global Industrial Defense Solutions, SOM, SPICE, Strix Mortar Round, VB6 Felix, Wire Guided Missile, Small Diameter Bomb. Notes External links A Brief History of Precision Guided Weapons, How Smart Bombs Work, BBC, Smart Bombs Missed Iraqi Targets a Euro on the First Employment of the JSOW, Guidance Failures from a Software Error Subsequently Fixed. Fact File, Smart Bombs, Not So Smart BBC Story Discussing the Limitations of Guided Munition Employment. Jane's.com, Ukraine Develops Indigenous Guided Airborne Weapons A Euro 2006 article about Ukrainian guided bomb development. World War II Glide Bombs, World War II Glide Bombs, World War II Glide Bombs, Soviet Russian Guided Bombs by Air Power Australia. Induction rocket systems Telson with a Clias laser guided rocket by TDA Armaments SAS. Induction rocket systems about the induction rockets that arm the attack helicopter Tiger.